Let's start our third reading passage in page number 155 in General English Book. The passage is on university education in Sri Lanka. Here you have the first paragraph of the text. So read this part of the paragraph and answer the questions. Start reading now. Now you can see the first question. What is the best known types of university in Sri Lanka? Try to find the answer now. And the second question. Do they charge fees to teach their programs? Now there is a sentence like this. Most state universities do not charge fees. They teach most of their programs free of charge to undergraduates. There you can find the answer. What is the best known types of university in Sri Lanka? Now look at the second one. The best known ones are the state universities. And the second question, do they charge fees to teach their programs? The most state universities do not charge fees. Now you can find the answers for both questions. Now this is the second paragraph of the text. Please read the paragraph. There is only one question. You can find the answer for the question after reading the paragraph. The question is, what is the example of a heavily subsidized rate present in this paragraph? Now when you are reading, you can find these words. Heavily subsidized. It is in the text. So read it well. Then you can find the answer. When you enter a university as an undergraduate, you are also entitled to all the facilities provided by the university, either free of charge or at a heavily subsidized rate. Now, some are given free of charge. They don't charge. But... 
for some facilities we have to pay but it is a, it is very low that is the meaning of that so what are the facilities that they can get free of charge read the next sentence then you can find after that you can find what can be taken by pay paying low rate of price then find the answer for the question these facilities include library use access to the internet and the use of computer labs accommodation for the most deserving students sports club and students associations at many university canteens food in the canteens is generally provided at about one third the cost outside a recent development in some universities is the opportunity to take part in international student exchange programs so find the answer and write it now now this is the third paragraph of the text read it there are two questions you have to say whether they are true or false first read the paragraph say whether these statements are true or false number 1 there is no stiff competition to get into state universities right find the answer from the text read it then write whether this statement true or false as we know there is stiff competition to get into state universities so read the sentence again then you will understand it and you can find the answer for this question in the next one next sentence only a small percentage of qualified students get this opportunity because there is only a limited number of places we also know that this is why we need a high iset score at the a levels to enter a state university now we have to take high iset score to enter a university why what is the reason there is only a limited number of universities so we have to take highs is said go to go there that is the meaning of this paragraph what is the second statement they have given we should have a high is said go at the a levels to enter a state university as there is limited number of state universities so see whether it is true or false then write the answer now all these answers will be checked later but not now so you can write the answers after that i i am going to check them
right? I think that it's enough. We will move to the next one. There is a table given. You can see in this table they have given the names of universities in the short form. You, when you read this paragraph you can find the names in long form and the short form. And they have given the courses that we can find in these universities. So study the table well. There are three questions. Find the answers for these three questions. By looking at the table, you can find the answers. The first one is, which degree programs are available in all the universities? Then the next one, which degree programs are available in only four universities? The last one, which three degree programs are available in only one university? So you can find the answers from this table. Okay, I think that you have finished the task. We will see the answers later. Let's try this part of the paragraph. This is what you have on page number 157. Read this paragraph. You can use a dictionary if you find any difficult word. There are many subjects in each faculty related to the program of study. So, there are so many subjects in each faculty. For a faculty of example, in arts faculties in the state university system you can study subjects from the humanities and the social sciences now they are giving what are the things that we can study in universities in fact in certain universities the arts faculty is known as the faculty of humanities and the social sciences. Here you find a range of subjects such as classical languages, literature, modern languages and literature, religious studies like Buddhist, Christian, Hindi, Hindu and Islamic sub studies, 
history, political science, geography, sociology, international studies, and so on. In Bachelor of Art programs, different universities offer a different range of subjects. Now, here you can find some facts about arts faculty. What are the subjects taught there? So read it well. No question is given here. There is another part. We will read it after this and find the answers for the next questions. Okay? Right. Now this is the next part of that paragraph. Read this one also. Okay, you can read it. When you have finished reading the both part of this paragraph, we are going to give the questions for you. Now you have read the passages on 155. 156 and 157. Now here you can see there are some sentences. These sentences give the summary of the lesson. But these sentences are not in order. They are not in the correct order. Only thing that you have to do is read all the sentences after that organize the sentences in the correct order to get the summary yes you can read the sentences then according to the text what is the summary of the text Arrange the sentences in the correct order. Vakya pilibalata hadala apinganagat tapikyeuva chede saranshe godnagagan. Okay, I think you will do this activity. In page number 159, you can find some questions to do after reading this paragraph. So I thought of giving you only three questions 
read the questions and find the answers from the text you read earlier. Okay, I hope that you have find the answers for the questions. Try to find out more about university education and the programs you dream of following by visiting the websites of the national universities given below. You can find out about faculties, departments by going to the home page and clicking on the link that says academic. So try to find the facts about university education in Sri Lanka by visiting these websites. Let's try this part of the paragraph. This is what you have on page number 157. Read this paragraph. So children, you read a long paragraph on university education in Sri Lanka and I hope that you have gathered a lot of information about universities in Sri Lanka and you did so many activities also. So thank you very much for following this lesson.